Welcome to a presentation on circles. Today we're going to have a look at how a circle is defined and also how to go about graphing a circle if you're ever faced with a question about how to graph a circle. So first of all, let's start off with the definition. The definition of a circle, or the circles that we're going to be looking at, are uh, they all take the, this form here, this form where x squared plus y squared equals a squared. And here, this, this functional form represents a circle of some radius a, where a is a, a positive number that's not equal to zero, whose center is the origin. And it's just been graphed to the right here. So let's quickly, let, let's review what exactly a radius is. Well, the radius is the point from the center of a circle. Or it's, it's the line from the, from the center of a circle to any point on its circumference. Let's have a look at this circle here. So the center here is this point, and this is a point on the circumference. And so the line joining these two points, this will have a length a. And we can see that the intercepts here with the x-axis and the y-axis, they're always a units away from the origin. Sure enough, we've said that the center is the origin. Let's label that here. Consequently, we can say that this, this circle represents, uh, or this circle is a representation of this functional form, x squared plus y squared equals a squared, because we've got a radius of a and we've got an origin at the center, or sorry, we've got a, uh, a center of the circle at the origin. Well, we've been studying functions throughout this section, and you might be prompted to ask, is this circle a function? And the answer is no. We can determine this uh, using a couple of different methods. The first is we could use a graphical method, we could use it looking at the graph, and we could use the vertical line test. Vertical line test. So let's review what a, uh, what a function is. A function is some rule that says for every input that we input into the equation, or every x that we input into the, the function, we get just one y value back. Well, certainly we never get two or two or three or more than one y value for every x value. And one way that we can evaluate whether a function or whether a graph um, of, of some relation is a function is by using the vertical line test. What we can do is we can put, pick any point here and we can just draw a vertical line down. And then say, do we get one or two or zero intersections with the curve? Well, for this vertical line, we get zero. For this one, we get one, just here. However, for this vertical line, we actually get two intersections with the curve, which means that this point, whatever point it is, it looks like it's about minus a on two. It's about halfway between minus a and the origin. For this x value, if we, would in, in, if we were to input minus a on two, or minus half times a, into this function, we'd actually get two associated y values. And consequently, this is not a function. So is the circle a function? No, it's not. Because we can find one, at least one x value where when we impact, input that x value, there are two associated y values here for this x value. So that's one way that we could determine it's not a function. Another way is we could look at the algebra. So here, we've got above that x squared plus y squared equals a squared is the functional form of this, this, this graphed circle here. Well, usually when we're, when we're looking at functions, we often like to simplify it such that we get y equals something on the right-hand side. So let's do that here. We can, we can sub subtract x squared from both sides, and we get y squared equals a squared minus x squared. And then we can take the square root of both sides. Let's do that. So the square root of y squared is y. And then we get the square root of plus or minus a squared minus x squared. What this expression means is any x value we input in here that is between minus a and a, if we input any, any x value that meets this, this, this requirement, in here, then we're actually going to get two different values. We're going to get a positive square root of whatever value in here is in here, and then a negative square root of whatever value is in here, which means that y is going to take on two separate values 
for some unique value of x. And because that happens, it's not a function. So we've used, we, we can say with certainty that it's not a function because we've been able to show it both from a graphical perspective and from an algebraic perspective. The last line we've got here says, on the axis to the right, on the axis to the right, graph x squared plus y squared equals 25. Well, above, we've said that x squared plus y squared equals a squared is a circle of radius a, whose center is at the origin. So this is going to be a circle of radius. Here we've got x squared plus y squared. We could easily write 25. What's the square root of 25? That's 5. So we could write 5 squared. Now it's in this form. x squared plus y squared equals a squared. This is exactly the same statement. So a circle of radius a, here a is 5, with a centre at the origin. Centre at the origin. And the origin is just the point zero, 0, So let's go ahead and draw that on this graph. So we're going to have uh, here our centre is going to be at the origin. And we've got a circle of radius 5. So all the points on this circle are going to be 5 units from the origin. So this point is going to be part of the circle. This is x equals 5, y equals 0. That's 5 units from the origin. This point up here is 5 units from the origin. This point is 5 units from the origin. This point is 5 units from the origin. All the points that are 5 units from the origin are going to form our circle. Now I'm not very good at drawing freehand. Uh, if you're drawing this on a, on a graph, you, you might, you know, if you're using a pencil, you might want to use a compass. I'm going to use the circle tool here. But the circle tool is going to allow us to draw a graph. It's about, looks something like this. Here we go. This is a circle where all these points are five units from the origin. Consequently, this is a representation of the function x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. Or another way of saying that is x squared plus y squared equals 25. And we're done.